Welcome to the Leather Journey. Um, today we're going to answer a question. What is a single tail? You hear single tails talked about a lot in, uh, in leather and in BDSM. And there's a colloquial use and then there's um, a functional use of that term. So most of the times colloquially when a leather person or someone in the BDSM says single tail, they're talking about a dog signal whip. A dog signal whip has a heel knot, a thong, and it ends with the cracker or popper being braided or plaited directly into the whip. And so for many, many people, that's what a single tail is. Functionally though, a single tail is any whip that ends with one tail. So a stock whip, is a type of single tail. You don't see stock whips used in the dungeon very much, but a stock whip has one tail. It's a different class of whip. A snake whip has one tail. A snake whip is a type of single tail. <clears throat> a bull whip ends with one tail. It's a type of single tail. What about a dragon tail? A dragon tail is a piece of usually garment grade leather uh, cut in a rectangle rolled around in a diagonal to end in one tail so i contend functionally a dragon tail is also a type of single tail what about a quirt a quirt looks like a single tail it might be a single tail it throws like a single tail but it's not a single tail because a quirt ends with two tails. So a quirt is not a single tail, but a stock whip, a bull whip, a snake whip, a signal whip, a dragon tail uh, are all different classes of single tail. So now you know what a single tail is.